Oh my god, what in the world is happening here? What is this? Minecraft is, has become Factorio here, I can see. Wow, this is amazing. Look at that. <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. Hey guys, this is Rad, and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Today I have created a really cool masterpiece one command creation. It is actually a two command creation, but don't tell anyone. And as you saw from the title and thumbnail of this video, you will be able to recreate something similar to Factorio in vanilla Minecraft using only two command blocks. So yeah, basically this command creation allows you to become the master of automatization in vanilla Minecraft and you'll be able to automate not only crops, but also transportation of items using conveyor belts and uh, sorting systems. So stay tuned until the end of of the video and let me show you guys how you can import everything you can import this machine in two different ways you can either use the one command install or you can install the actual function which you will find on my website which is linked in the description of this video so if you want to import it via the one command creation just use a command use this command in chat give it p command underscore block you should get a command block in your inventory you place it down then you go on my website you copy the above the commands so make sure that you've paste the first command in one command block you activate it and then this is actually the second command you paste it in another command block you press on this button you press on done and voila the machine is activated in just a couple of moments so if you right click on this signs here yeah. you will get all of the crafting recipes that you need but you don't need to do that if you are going to follow this video so as you can see in my inventory i have all of the items needed to craft this and i need to talk really fast because there are there's a lot of stuff going on here look at how many item recipes we have here so let me start with the first one by dropping down eight observers and eight pistons you will be able to craft a noto farmer this thing here works together with the next crafting recipe which is craft by using a dispenser and eight redstone pieces of redstone to craft an auto planter so the auto planter can't be placed by its own you can see that when i try to place it it tells me to place it on a auto farmer so this is what you have to do let's place an auto farmer here voila this is how it looks like and basically all it does it auto farms your crops just like the name says so how do we auto farm our crops we need of course to create our farm farmland so let me take some dirt and of course some seeds that i'm going to plant for the first time on my farmland Alright, so uh, this thing here has a radius of action of one block, so basically it will only farm the adjacent blocks just like this, only the blocks adjacent to it, it doesn't go further than that, so you can see that if I place other blocks, they will not be uh, transformed into farmland. Alright, so now let me place, for example, carrots, I have to plant them only once, and once these carrots here go up, you can see that the auto farmer basically it uh, breaks the item and it will drop you this thing here. Now you might say, well, this is not 100% automated because it doesn't plant the carrots again. Well, this is why we have crafted an auto planter before. So if I place it on top of the auto farmer, in this case, you can place it and this is how it will look like together. And uh, yeah, now basically once one of these carrots here will grow up, now I'm gonna speed up the process using some bone meal. You can see that it planted our carrots and what it did it didn't just plant it from nowhere it subtracted the carrots dropped from uh, our previous crop and then planted it again this means that if uh, something doesn't drop any seeds uh, for example the wheat if that if it doesn't drop any seeds well it will not it will not have um, seeds to plant so the farmland will will remain empty so yeah, also one thing that I have to mention is that if you plant your crops using this auto farmer, you will have a 40% chance to get one extra item from your crops. So, for example, carrots, when you break them, uh, you can get between 0 and 3 carrots, if I'm not wrong, or 1 or 3 carrots. So there's a 40% chance that you will get one extra carrot each time that uh, this guy here breaks them. So yeah, you will get more stuff using this uh, automation, automation system. Alright, so now... If we repeat the process, you can see that it will plant all of these carrots, but we will need a system, we will we need a way to collect these items here and maybe transport them into our base or something like that. So let's continue crafting the next item. So if you drop down one hopper and eight of enderpearls here, we will be able to craft a vacuum collector. This vacuum collector works together with a redstone comparator, eight enderpearls to craft a vacuum receiver. So we will have two of them. Let me place these seeds here. Oh yeah, also... Um, this guy here farms all plants that are farmable except for the pumpkins and melons. So basically it works with seeds, wheat seeds, uh, beetroot seeds, carrots and potatoes. 
let me place these items here because I don't need you guys. All right, and let's continue. So let me take the vacuum collector and vacuum receiver. So the vacuum collector, what you can do, you can place it close to one of these farms here. It looks just like this. It's just a black small block with these ender particles. And basically every time that one of these plants here grows up, our auto farms breaks them. And uh, the vacuum collector basically collects all of the items that are in a radius of five blocks from it. Uh, also, if you drop normal items, you can see that they will co be collected by our vacuum collector. This vacuum collector here works together with the vacuum receiver and it can transport all of the items that has close to it to the closest vacuum receiver as long as the vacuum receiver is less than 10 blocks away from this one. So this one has a radius of action of 5 blocks so make sure that your vacuum, vacuum receiver is placed more than 5 blocks away so the items are not transported back and forth infinitely. Now we should be fine. And yes, you can see that the carrots were transported here. Ah, uh, why does it rain every time? I don't need rain. You, I have the auto farm which waters my plants uh, automatically. Alright, so yeah. So you can use these vacuum receivers and vacuum collectors for other stuff. For example, if you want to transport things that are not just plants, you can do it. For example, if you are in a mine, uh, you can create a whole system just like Factorio. Now, let's continue with conveyor belt. And let me show you guys the coolest thing about this command creation. So if you drop down one piston and one rest on you will be able to craft oops yeah the items were transported here um eight of these conveyor belts so once the items are transported to a vacuum receiver you can use conveyor belts to basically transport these items even further the way these conveyor belts work it's real simple you just place them in the direction that you want them to go just like this and you will see them change direction as well you can see the items and let's just say that our chest is here so what you can do here, we can place a hopper, let's place a hopper, and we will have all of our items transported to the chests. Alright, we have the chest here. So basically, this whole system here crops, um, cuts our crops, it collects everything, and voila, you look at that, <laughs> this is the coolest thing. All of the plants that come out from our farmland will be transported here, and then the conveyor belts will transport them to the destination. Alright, so now let's just say that your chest is not at the same level of this conveyor belt. How do we transport items upwards? So I have created some time ago a conveyor belt system, but I haven't made a way to transport items upwards. No worries, because now you can do it. So if you rename a piston inside an anvil, conveyor piston, all capital letters, just like this one, and you drop it on top of a conveyor belt, transformed into one of these conveyor pistons here, which will push items uh, upwards. Make sure that you place another of these uh, conveyor belt here, so it transports the items on top of this piston here. So now if we drop one carrot here on the conveyor belt, voila, <laughs> this is really cool. So yeah, you, you can have your items transported upwards. Here what you can do, you can place, let's see. Uh, by the way guys, if you want to remove one of these items here, you just break the block on which it is placed. Same with these guys here. You just break the, break the block on which you place them. All right, I have to do the same thing again. All right, and make sure that you don't drop the renamed piston. All right, so let's suppose that our chest is here. Let's place one other conveyor belt here let's place our chest here and the hopper which will collect the items and bring them to the chest all right so now we should have a whole system that works and now you guys can see that the whole system here is starting to look similar to factorio so yeah we have all of the items transported they will be transported even further here in the hopper and then from the hopper to our chests so yeah imagine the possibilities that you have guys uh, using these items here. Anyways, let's continue with the other crafting recipes. There are uh, other couple of items that you can craft. All right, so let's drop down two redstone repeaters and one redstone torch to craft what happened here. All right, nope. All right, let me go far, far from them. All right, to craft a power pulser. This power pulser works together with dispenser or anything that is activated by redstone. Even pistons work. And let me show you guys how it works. So, let me place one of these guys here. And let me take maybe even a piston so you guys can see the whole system work. Let me place the piston here. So, this item here is similar to what I have created time ago on my The Alchemist map. And if I place it here, basically it's just like a um, redstone repeater which um, gives a redstone signal to all of the blocks that are adjacent to it. So yeah, the way you break it, you just break the glass block here and you will get the item back. And you can use this thing here to, I don't know, maybe place seeds inside the dispenser and then dispense them on top of farmland. 
So basically, uh, I told you guys before that sometimes you can have some of the crops not drop any seeds, just like this. And this is a problem because sometimes you have to check everything up and see if the items are placed or not. So one way this thing works, you can either drop the seeds and you can see that, oops, oh yeah, our collector collected everything, so I will have to break it for one moment. So um, what you can do, you can take seeds just like this and you can dr drop them on top of the farmland and you can see that they are automatically placed. This means that you can create an automated system by just using power pulsers and this dispenser here, dispensers here to basically plant uh, our farmland that doesn't have any crops on it. Let me take a power pulser, place it here, one here and one here, and voila! Alright guys, so here I have created a little closed system. So basically, every time that one of these crops here grows up, all of the seeds will be collected by these guys here, by the conveyor belts. Then this piston pushes them up because uh, the, otherwise they will be stopped because the farmland is actually lower than the height of a normal dirt block. So I have to use one of these pistons. Then these guys here will be transported up here and will go back again inside these hoppers which will go inside the dispenser and which will dispense them again and again. So now in this case we will have our farmland always always with crops on it. Now just suppose that um, some wheat grows up. We don't want this weed here to go inside the dispenser because otherwise it will be just dispensed back again and it will be in the system. This is where our last item comes in handy because we will be able to craft an item sorter and this is a really cool thing that you can do. So let's drop down two hoppers and one redstone block to craft the item sorter here. Then the way you use it, it's simple. What you can do, you can create another conveyor belt which goes in another direction just like this one. Of course all of the items will first go here and then go there because this is the first conveyor belt that they touch but if you add one of these item sorters in the direction that you want to um, transport only the crops just use it in the direction by looking in the direction where you want them to go and in this case when some of this weed here grows up let me just do it here let's see you can see that the weed is transported and in this case look at where it will go so only wheat and uh, carrots and potatoes and beetroots will be transported by these uh, item sorter here. All of the other seeds will go back in the system. So once you have this guy here, what you can do, you can go a bit further and then use a, a where is it, the collector, the vacuum collector and then transport everything to your home. So yeah, or actually you can do it straight with the conveyor belts and then transport all of your items where you want them to go. So yeah, this is a really cool command that you can play with. Maybe use some other conveyor belts and make huge mechanisms, huge automated things that will transport everything. So yeah guys, this is the first command of a mini series that I'm going to do. Basically, I'm gonna create more uh, automated stuff uh, for your world. In this case, this is farming, automatic farming uh, machines. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to create other farming machines, for example, probably mining machines for Minecraft 1.12 and I think that it will work for Minecraft 1.13 as well. I will try to make them work in Minecraft 1.13 as well. By the way, guys, you can use these conveyor belts here for other stuff, not only for this guy here. And uh, same thing with your auto, uh, what is it, the power pulser. So yeah, you can use them also this one, this guy here, the, the vacuum collector and vacuum receiver. You can use them for other automatic stuff things i'm sure that you guys are creative enough to find out other ways to use these things that i have created but as always guys that has been it about this video here i really hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did so then don't forget to drop a like under it I, it took me quite a long time to create it but i'm really happy with the results and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this if you guys want to remove the machines you just have to right click here and boom disappeared and boom disappeared and in this case, nothing will work anymore. So yeah, if you want to remove these guys here, uh, you will have to reinstall the machines, then break the blocks on which you have placed them, and then you can remove the machines forever. As always guys, thank you all for watching this video until the end, and I'll see you all in the next one. See you, bye.